I woke up to the sharpest light bulb I have ever had in my life. Four o'clock in the morning, like whammo, like I was waking the roosters up that morning when it was dark. I had never felt more energetic at four o'clock in the morning. And uh, we were with all within the top 100 people to first enter the, uh, the Inca ruins at Machu Picchu. That's it. If Cusco during the Incas time was the most important place for the Incas people, for what reason actually was building the other places around Cusco? Machu Picchu, according to Lumbreras, was a kind of one checkpoint. During the Incas time, the Cusco city, which actually in Quechua, you know, was Cusco, means navel, navel of the world the core, the most important place. If actually now we got like a many theories about Machu Picchu, the simple reason is nobody knows about this place. As I told you, it was discovered just 103 years ago. The Spain people never, never arrived to Machu Picchu. Around 65% about Inca's trials, you know, the Inca's people actually disappear. I mean, the only reason was for care the places, because actually they already know that when the Spain people go in or go the places, they are going to destroy it. The Incas people hide Machu Picchu and the other four places around Cusco. This kind of stones is a kind of very very important, in especially the stone on top, because it's like a more like a more heavy. And you know, going to keep a, like a much better balance for this entrance. For the Incas people on 21 of June, it was very, very important. No? Actually, Garcilaso wrote and said, on 21 of June was actually the main festivity for the Incas, the Inti Rhyme, or the Festival of the Sun. Agriculture was the main activity for the Incas people. That's why the Incas people got more than three different types of potatoes and more than 800 types of corn. As I told you, the main activity. In all the Inca buildings, we're gonna find terraces. But the second function about terraces was, you know, for it contain the mountain, like a support. I mean, for the landslides. From the bottom until the top, we're gonna find actually five Celsius degrees of difference, okay? I mean, the lower places was for the ground, corn, quinoa, you know? And on top was actually for potatoes and for the beans, no? Actually, the same happened here. It was a kind of like a laboratory. In June and July, it's possible to see at the Milky Way the llama constellation. The llama was actually another important animal. No? Actually, during the Inti Rhyme, the Incas people sacrificed one llama. I mean, the Incas people kill the llama, take out the heart, and put on the fire. I mean, burn the, 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 the heart, you know, for, you know, for the sun. Actually, when Hiram Bingham came here, arrived this place, discovered this place, he found like a many llama bones, okay? Like a, a lot of seeds of corn and potatoes, and a lot of pieces of ceramics, like a ceremonial glasses, you know, the keros, okay? And that's why the theory about this place is the place for leave the offerings for the sun, the sun is going. Please don't leave us, you know? That's why the Incas people made like an offering for the sun. Some people say that this stone was a kind of one sun dial. Other people are come to say that this stone was a kind of one Inca calendar. 
and other people say that this stone is a representation of Huayna Picchu. Because take care, team people. <laughs> Whenever come back Have to Peru, really we'll kind of contact you first. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Bye, chicos. If you want your mind officially blown, you got to come here. Like Machu Picchu for me was, was, I have to see this, you know, this is like one of the things that was on my bucket list, one of the things that I, I, I just think is phenomenal. I was weightless up there. Like every sight just, I, I couldn't, like I couldn't look enough. Like I, I don't even think I blinked when I was up there. Like I just looking at every side, the architecture, the civilization, like how, how it was created, how the Spaniards couldn't find it. Within the first hour of walking through Machu Picchu, I was I was literally having my heart sink. I, um, I couldn't find words to express how amazed I was at the way how they had built their structures, where they had built it, and just looking around and, and you just gotta think to yourself, there just isn't a way that this could have been duplicated anywhere in the world. This is spectacular. We're so fortunate we have the opportunity to do things like this. And we've got great friends that wanna do it as well. the most special place I've ever been to in my life. Maybe the greatest moment of my life. So I'm okay to cry about it. Because there's no way I can express myself. This is too much. Oh boy. Put this on the list of places I will go back to.